What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another Let's Play series, this time for the NES, a heavily modified version of Castlevania II, Simon's Quest. Um, I am your host, Tim McKernan, and this was a viewer request, so we're going to do this. i um, have never done this before, and uh, I modded the hell out of this because I've heard it's just just awful it has been seven years since the ending scenes of castlevania once again the stage is set transylvania when the hero simon belmont defeated count dracula the dark lord's body succumbed to something however the cost of that succumbing was a lot of coming and uh, his health had been slowly deteriorating he's beginning to feel death looms near one morning simon was visiting the graves of his ancestors on the hill of angels as he contemplated his life, behold, suddenly behind him there was a woman standing in the morning mist. The woman approached Simon and began to speak. Coming is come come. An evil curse has befallen you. De God, she talks fast. Uh, process the courage and uh, forces the evil once again. God will surely grant you the power that you need. Uh -huh. Put a dollar in the box. Um, okay. Growing stronger and Dracula's body has already begun resurrecting itself because of the coming. Thus far, five parts of the body have appeared throughout the land, each strengthening the curse. The wang bone, the bone of the wang, the chub bone, and uh, both eyeball bones. Both nipple bones. There we go. That's five. And that's also funny as hell. Uh, okay, we're just going to jump into it then. Game start. Okay. Go and buy white crystal. That is the first thing you must do. The beginning of all things. The first and the last. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, I have a map. Town of Jova. I have... Zero experience, 50 hearts. Leather whip. You're going to tell me the same thing? Okay. Can I get in these doors? God, it feels good to be playing 8-bit Nintendo again. Um, I love 8-bit Nintendo. <laughs> okay. What do you got to say, old man? Find one of the 13 hidden clues and a riddle can be solved. Okay. You know the ferryman at the Dead River? I heard that he loves garlic. He loves garlic. What? Is this guy just whacking it under his robe? Homemade thorn whips for sale. Buy one. Um, there are a hundred. I don't have enough hearts. That's the thing. I've never really played Castlevania games. And one of the biggest turnoffs uh, as a kid was that they used hearts as currency. I just like couldn't wrap my head around that. The sacred flame is the top of the sixth tree in Dennis Woods. The sacred sixth tree. Got it. Got it. Dennis Woods. Got it. Six. Oh, another, another guy just whacking it. A uh, hero. <laughs> okay, that that water is obviously full of crap. It is said that in the town of Veros, there is a hidden book that contains a clue to Dracula's riddle. Hmm, Dracula's riddle. Hmm. Okay. Would you like to buy a white crystal? It has been until Yes, I do. I've been told that's the first thing I must do. No, I have no more money. Okay, I have the white crystal. Good, good, good. Well, that's the first episode. Thanks for watching. I sell holy water. It's very potent. Are you interested? Um, I'm very interested in the potency of the holy water, but... I don't have the coin. Okay, now that I got the 
white crystal. Is this guy going to give me some new advice? The crystal salesman patrols the alley all day, but most traders prefer the safety of the indoors. Some even hide behind fake walls. Ooh, okay. How's it going, Father? Rest here for a while in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Okay. Anyone got any fake walls in this church? How am I getting out? Is that a door? No, oh, that's out. Meh. Alright, so... You gonna tell me something new now that I got the white crystal? Oh god, what a horrible night for a curse. Um, so I'm trying to think of all the patches I put into this. Um, I put in a patch that I make more money or more hearts easier and uh, also there's like apparently some kind of mansion we're gonna go to at some point and in that mansion there's a lot of fake floor so I've put a patch in that lets you um, see the fake floor pieces uh, there's been a retranslation so it's going to tell you useful things like get the white crystal, I guess. I don't know what it said in the original. And yeah, I think I don't lose all my experience and or hearts uh, upon game over. What's up, guys? Oh god, they... Okay, enough of that jumping around. That jumping shit. What you got, Bonesy? I'm in the Jova's Woods. Okay. Should I go back to the town and find out... How much hearts do I got? Okay, so those are worth quite a bit. Let's let's farm up some hearts. Let's buy some other things. And see if we can make sense of this. Enigma wrapped in a riddle. Packaged in a puzzle of a game. My brother... Uh, I, got, I got two brothers. One of them uh, played this game, I know. As a kid. So I own all three Castlevanias for the NES on cartridge, and I've never played any of them. I, I just I inherited them through from my brother, and he really liked it. My, my experience with Castlevania games is um, hating the concept that hearts is currency, and uh, enjoying Symphony of the Night. That's it. That's, that's all I've ever done with this series. Love the hell out of Symphony of the Night. Probably beaten that, I don't know, five times. Uh, but never played another one. I also have four on Super Nintendo. I bought, no, I have played four. I have not beaten four. I have four. I wanted it for a birthday once. How many hearts we got yet? Six? What? Oh, 160. I was looking at experience. Okay, um, yeah, we can go get some holy water. Let's go get the holy water. What's up, dog? You got the holy water, right? Yes, very, very interested. I don't know if I bought it already. Um, yes, I bought it, so... Yeah, that's what I think of your potent holy water. Okay, so who's selling the leather whip? Let's get the whip upgrade while we're here, huh? Maybe the father will 
heal my wounds. Thank you. You know the fairy? Oh yeah, yeah. I do know the ferryman. Homemade thorn whips for sale. Homemade. Hundred percent organic. Fair trade. Oh, I think it's longer. I guess that's that's the thorny goodness. Okay, in town of Veros. Where's town of Veros? Bram's mansion, the ruins. Vlad graveyard, town of Yomi. Town of Domi. Town of Ondol. Town of Veros. Okay, we are here, so we gotta go through the woods, cross southern bridge. Oh. Oh my god, yes. Thorn whip indeed. Bitches are going down. Anyone else want some thorn whip? How about you, Bonesy? Whip that guy in the jaw. Watch it, fish face. Oh, it's going to be one of those games. Okay. Whoa. Oh, it's going to be one of those games. <laughs> no kidding? Okay, whatever. Uh, that's real generous. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's also part of the package. So what do I have still? Um, I lost all my experience. I lost nearly all my... I stole my thorn whip. Clothes. I don't know what their experience is good for yet. Yet. Get that right in the jaw. Let's go downstairs. Nothing in the walls. Anything down here for me? Nothing for Simon. Get some holy water. Nice. That's a very potent stuff, man. think that's supposed to be? Is that supposed to be like plants? Where am I? The rib of the demon king can act as a shield that protects you from powers of evil. Where am I? Ooh, I'm in the town of Eros. Okay. So apparently we used the southern bridge. Gonna not let me in now because it's nighttime. Pharaohs. Dobby's path. Veros woods. That's also obvious. Is it not going to let me in? Um, that was kind of cute with the turbo controller action there. Get some. Ooh, you guys are... A lot more difficult. 
Get out of here, bat face. What the hell was I gonna say? Um, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I do remember. Um, so I think that that's eyeball. Chill out. I think that's also a uh, part of the hack, is that it doesn't take forever to transition between day and night. I can remember that from my brother's game. Dabby's path. I could see why it's named that. <laughs> no, I have no clue. Let's see if we could bust some stones open. Maybe there's like a sign that says Dabby was here. Back off eyeballs. Ooh. Okay, this is where they get summoned from. That's that's not great. It's really really not great. Okay, well we're gonna get up there. Um, I got a feeling. Yeah. Not the holy water does like nothing to them. It's not so potent. Okay, so I guess the trick to these these eyeballs is you just kind of come at you, right? Because if you move around too much, then... They're just gonna get you in a bad spot. Okay, new eyeball? Yes. Get it, eyeball. Okay, there's gotta be something here. Come on. Dabby's path? Really? There's nothing yet? I think that's the music for daytime. Oh, don't be throwing that spiderweb shit my way. if I go this way? Oh. <laughs> I could see that bat. Maybe that's also something they fixed, you know? I could definitely see that bat being one of those gotcha things where it's like, oh yeah, um, you just came into the screen? Nope, this bat is right here. It's gonna hit you. Bat is here for you. I thought that guy was going to be a lot tougher than one hit. <laughs> I... Oh my god. 
I don't know where we're going. We're just climbing up the thing. Where, where am I even? I'm in Berkeley Mansion? Where are all the college kids crying about whatever? Oh. I couldn't... didn't see what I got, but I think it was life. Wait, I got a clue? Puddle of pus. Um, if anyone ever has any questions about how to mod games, let me know. Um, it's not that hard. So I, I went to romhacking.net or .com or something. And there's just a ton of hacks for all your old favorite games. And um, it's not hard to patch them. Like, it's it's really pretty cool. I did one in the summer before my son was born. I was going to do one more run of Ogre Battle for the Super Nintendo, uh, March of the Black Queen. And uh, they, have, they have a really cool patch there where they rebalance the army and... Most of the most of the stats get changed and everything. It was a really fun run. Uh, I didn't quite finish it because Ogre Battle's like you know, a hundred hour flipping game. But um, yeah, I'm gonna keep checking out what they got down there. But yeah, it, it it's pretty quick. It's pretty easy. And there's all kinds. They like sort the categories too. It's really nice. Like there's one sorted by. Um, you know, quality of life improvements, uh, new mechanics. Even today, the Sacred Flame rests in a realm hidden from sunlight. I see. Yeah, the stairs, the effing stairs. Yep, good. I'm glad my fake wall um, patch is working. Yes? Okay. Well, that's great. Um, I'm glad that thing's there. It's 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 doing what it needs to do. And that's just the end of the line, huh? Whoa, that was close. I was worried that guy was gonna charge me and throw me back into the into the water. What the hell happened? Level one. You bastard. Hmm. What's up, Bonesies?
Y'all got hung for freaking uh, going after the farmer's pig, huh? Yeah, I've, we've all been there. fish face. I want to try and find that town again um, and hit that in the daytime and talk to people. I'm sure they got good advice. Like, you know, how investing in a... Uh, ooh, let's try this wall here. How investing in a timeshare is not quite the pyramid scheme it's made out to be. I'm sure that they'll help me out. Okay. Yeah, okay. The rib, got it. Anyone home? What's up, Doc? Awesome daggers for sale. Super cheap. A symbol of Dracula will appear when you strike certain objects with a stake made of oak. Well, that's hot diggity dog. Um, yeah, I'm sure I want to say. Oops. Oh, they don't fly very far. They're not such awesome daggers. A laurel in a pickle... Laurel in a pickle makes all your worries go away. What? There are clues to Dracula's rear within Berkeley's mansion. Nice. What's up, hot tits? One of the clues to Dracula's rear is within the town of Alijuba. Boy, you are pale, young man. Please rest at the church and refresh yourself. Okay, can do. Just just here for the refreshment. Don't touch me, Father. Rest here for a while in the name of the Father. So they're Catholic. Well, I guess they're Catholic. There is a friend waiting for you in the town of Algeba. You must go and meet him. A friend, you say? some potent ass holy water. One peek into the crystal is all you need to reveal a path in Berkeley's mansion. Okay. This chain whip is worth its price. Yes, I'm very much interested. Oh my god, yes. We got the chain whip. I'm going to be whipping for days. All right. Well, you know what, guys? I think uh, let's wrap it up there. We'll make this episode one. I'm going to have to do some online research and figure out what the heck I should be doing. Uh, but, you know, chain whip. Huh? And we got the awesome dagger at, at a very good price. Uh, I don't care if there's another guy selling them for... 50% discount, I will go to my grave singing the praises of <laughs> the price of those daggers. Um, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. Feel free to drop me hints because I'm kind of just, you know, an idiot doesn't know this stuff. And I will hope to see you in the next video. 
Have yourselves a great day, guys. Bye for now.